Hi, and welcome to part two of this balance series, working with a ball with your feet. So uh, we, be sure you do part one. It's really important to develop that balance in sitting before coming to standing. So today we're going to come to standing. And again, any kind of ball that you like to use is fine. I'm using a rubber ball here. Um, what you're going to start with is a similar type of thing we did with the sitting of standing, which is a lot more work than sitting. So if you have trouble with your balance, stand near a wall or a chair or a bench or something, a high counter that you can use if you need help just standing on one leg. But this will really help your balance for walking and standing. So what you're going to do is just roll the ball first and feeling again lightly the bones in the bottom of your feet. And if you need to use something to balance to do that, that's great. But find side to side as well as forward and back, feeling the bones. And then once you have a sense of where they all are and you can feel them, stop and rest and maybe just walk a little bit in place. Let's try the other side. So rolling the ball, and as you can see, I'm looking at the ball. If you can also practice looking at the horizon and feeling that way, this is even better. One of the things we do as we get older and older, we start younger looking at your feet, and then as you're older, start looking at your feet again. But see if you can not look and feel your foot, okay? Stop and rest. And good. And then we're going to do that same thing, but close your eyes. So rolling the ball a little slower now and rolling it, closing the eyes again. If you need something to balance, go ahead and do that. And eventually you might not need it. And going side to side. All right. Now, before we switch to the other foot, I want you to try something. I want you to put one hand on top of your head and think about your head uh, pushing into that hand a little bit and your hand is flat like a book. And then find the ball, then have your eyes at the horizon. And you can either do this eyes open or closed. Let's try eyes open first and just rolling the ball and see if it's a little easier to stand with this hand on top of your head. So that's a feedback uh, loop. This creates a closed system for your head to know where it is in space connecting to the foot. This is very helpful with balance. All right, and then rest and just walk in place. Let's do that on the other side. So you're going to put one hand on top of your head, hand flat, so you're on the very top of your head, eyes at the horizon, rolling the ball, and see if you can feel your head all the way through that standing foot, not the ball foot. It's a lot to feel. Then close your eyes and see if you can do that with eyes closed. Okay, rest walk a little bit in place. That is a lot right there. You could practice that, but only practice it for a few seconds at a time right now because we don't want you to get fatigued either standing on that leg or the uh, foot that's rolling the ball. Don't want to get that overstimulated either. Okay, now this gets harder. All right, so now you find the ball, okay, hand on your head. It could be the same hand you did before or a different hand. Make sure the hand is straight and flat and that your head, your eyes are looking at the horizon. Okay. Now I want you to take and lift your foot and then put it down just like we did sitting and try to touch different parts of your foot on the ball. So aim for, you know, thinking about the ball of the foot, which part of the ball, maybe the heel, inside of the heel, outside of the heel. Just feel different parts of your foot and then rest. Take a few steps. Let's try the other side. Make sure you're breathing. 
hand flat on your head. And now let's take and lift your foot and bring it down lightly in different places on the ball, different places on the ball. Lifting the knee, and if you really want to get fancy, bring your knee up higher and higher, okay? And very lightly come down. It's important that you come down lightly rather than hard. First of all, you don't want to hurt your foot, but it takes more control. And if you're walking barefoot or walking in uneven surfaces, this will teach your foot to be more supple. Okay, let's walk in place. All right. Now, this is the big challenge. If you can, do this. If not, let's continue with where we were with eyes open, hand on your head. Couldn't switch the other hand. And this time, close your eyes. And this will be much, much, much different. But again, feel the hand on top of your head. You've already done that a little bit already with eyes closed. Now lift away your foot and bring it down. <clears throat> and find different places, different places to touch with your foot. Very light, notice if you're coming down heavy, ah, oh, we don't want that, so be very light. And then take that foot off, take a few steps. Other side, hand on your head. Again, flat hand, make sure it's the top of your head if it's not the top of your head, that's not going to be very good aligned posture. So you want that right on the top. Start with your eyes open, then close your eyes. Take a moment to orient and then lift that knee. Lightly come down and up in different places. And if you're wobbling, make sure you feel that hand on your head. There we go. And finding different parts of your foot. You can make small little lifts or big ones. Okay? And keep relaxing the foot coming on the ball. So it's very nice landing, soft like a cat. That's the kind of feeling we want with the feet. And now walk, and your feet should feel really great. Okay? And I have more, so stay tuned. And if you like this, Go check out my website. I have lots of audio programs and I'm happy for any support of the videos. I've got a place there if you want to ever donate. Awesome. Would love to upgrade my equipment. So thank you so much and see you next time.